All right, guys. Got it. Uh, got the head off on this side too. Everything looks pretty good. Don't see any issues here. Here's the other head. Got to get the cams taken out of it. The exhaust taken off. Uh, the followers. Lifters, flash adjusters, whatever you want to call them. Got to get them taken out. And uh, then I can pull the valves, take the springs out, and get this head cleaned up. Get it ready for porting. The porting stuff should be here in a day. I think a day or two it'll be here so we can get to get the porting on these heads here. So that'll be the next thing on the list. Uh, I got most of them valves cleaned up. I still got to do about half of them. So uh, I'll have more to do on this one as well. So let's go ahead and get these uh, cams and everything and the exhaust taken off of this one here.
keepers. Two of these hold one valve in. This is an intake valve. Dirty, it needs to be cleaned up. You can see the uh, three notches. That's where the little keepers snap into to hold the valve up. It's cleaned up. Alright, guys, if you got a four valve and you're going to do me. You know, doing valve springs or anything like that, where you gotta take the valve springs off. Go ahead and get one of these. Uh, this works very well on any uh, four valve motors. So, this is an Aries valve spring compressor, and the, the uh, you know, product number 70370. I believe I got this off Amazon for. I don't know, between $60 and $75. I can't remember exactly what it was, but there it is. It's adjustable here for different lengths, and then you got adjustments over there, and it's extra deep and wide for the uh, four valve to get in there. So it works very well. I definitely recommend it. But uh, anyways, we got all the valves out of this. Uh, both heads are clean put them into parts washer there and cleaned them up so they're both ready for uh, when my porting stuff shows up we'll go ahead and get started on that so that's where we're at guys both heads are off I didn't find anything crazy with any other valves or anything so uh, I believe I can just clean them up I gotta decide if I'm gonna test. I got well, actually, you know what? Scratch that. These heads gotta go to the machine shop. They need to be uh, decked. Cause I can get a thou and a half feeler gauge under my straight edge in a couple places right in this area on both heads. So I need to get a little bit cut off both heads while it's there. I'll probably have them do a, a three-angle valve job, grind the valves, grind the seats, and you know, clean it all up. So. Um, so yeah, that's, that's in the cards, guys. But I can start, you know, cutting on it and uh, porting it before we send it over there, just in case I accidentally hit it, nick a valve seat too far or whatever, you know, a bit of clean it up with the uh, when they do the valve job. So once that stuff shows up, guys, we'll be back out here grinding on these. Um, you know, I'm gonna be learning it as I go. I have never really ported anything, but we'll get some uh, we'll get some aluminum fly in and, and, and start upping the flow of these heads a little bit. Nothing crazy, guys. Just a little bit to clean it up, and uh, we'll have to do the same on the old intake manifold there. So, this thing over here. If you got a heater out in your garage and it doesn't like have a thermostat on it or whatever. And you want to be able to have it shut off on its own and all that stuff. Get you one of these. This here, you plug the power into my heater. Okay. It's basically like a relay, not an off switch. You go in there and program what temperature you want, you know, whatever to turn on. And you can also go in there and uh, set the temperature you want it to turn off. So, like on mine, I got it turned on 52 degrees or below, anything. 52 degrees or below, it'll be sending power out of this, okay? It'll heat up, heat up. It's got a, 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 a temperature probe right here. It's like a K coupler. Goes in there. And then once it heats up to 58 or whatever I got it to, I think it's 58, it'll cut the power to this, shut the heater off, and then the temperature will drop. And once it gets down to my on point, it'll you know, send power back out. It's like 20 or 30 bucks for that thing. It's real nice. So, works pretty good on the, heat, the old heater there, so. But, uh, anyways, that's what, uh, that's what we're doing, and I will, uh, get back with you guys when we, uh, get the and stuff, and we'll get to grinding, so. 
I appreciate you guys watching, man. If you want to hit that like button and subscribe, uh, I really appreciate it. I'm going to try to get my uh, subscriber count up, up to a thousand at least. Uh, I'm going to try to post uh, you know, video more often and uh, be a little more consistent for you guys. So I uh, appreciate it, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.